His new vault cards have just dropped today and I'm going to be showing y'all two main methods to go about farming XP quick and efficiently. Important to note right off the rip, you want to have a Moxie Endowment Artifact that also has rolled extra combat XP as a passive so you can get 22% extra combat XP on kill. I unfortunately don't have one so literally everything I'm going to be showing is going to actually be at a bare minimum XP but you you can increase it with two main things which is the Moxie Endowment Artifact. Keep in mind though the Moxie Endowment Artifact can be far from the tank train over on the guts of carnivora over in this area right here and then the other xp passive that you can have is going to be the borderland science 25 percent xp boost that lasts for two hours i also don't have that and then for the setup that you would want to have the best way the most efficient way is uh no mayhem mode with true vault hunter mode and then if you don't have true vault hunter mode you can do what i'm doing and go on either you can go on mayhem mode one or for me, because Mayhem 10 does drop a little bit more XP, I'm going to be uh, playing on Mayhem 10 as well. So first things first, the main boss that you're going to farm that's going to drop you the most XP is going to be the Ruiner. He does drop uh, a bare minimum 1749 XP with a Moxie Endowment that can... I believe that can cross the the 2100 xp per kill mark and then with the borderland science that'll push it to north of i want to say 2300 xp per kill so right now without those xp bonuses you, you're leaving you know roughly 50 percent extra xp on the field but uh, once again i'm showing you guys the floor for this method so once again the ruiner is the best boss that drops the most amount of xp okay now if you're like me and you're on console you know you, you may not want to do loading screens luckily there's a method that you can that you can do where you don't have any load screens and you get relatively fast xp which we are going to be heading over there right now all right you guys so obviously if you couldn't tell the method that we're talking about uh for like you know us console players that have to deal with those uh, you know those really bad loading screens uh, we're going to be talking about these guys over here the scrap trap nest so the reason why the scrap trap nest can be very very good um is that these guys uh they'll drop about you know 52 like you know roughly we'll just say 50 xp uh, per little uh, scrap trap dude right there's quite a lot of them that spawn in here you know if you have you know things like a reflux you know anything that can do mass aoe will do really good in here i'm just using a rowan skull because i have a challenge uh, a weekly challenge to get 250 kills with jacob's weapons and doing that inside of here is, is going to be very very fast right so if you kill all these enemies and then you kill the boss you can obviously just you know simply step out of here and then easily reset it it's a good farm it, it's a good farm the only thing about this is that uh it's just it is slower than just mass killing the ruiner over and over again and the reason why that is the, is the case is just simply for the sole fact is that you have to kill all these individual scrap trap guys and then kill the boss versus with the ruiner you literally just have to kill the boss wow i actually went down i'm just trash so we're gonna go ahead and kill this guy he then he then he drops a nice fat stack of you know a thousand xp and then what we can do is then we can run our nice you know beautiful asses over high tail it out of here baby and then we can just come right on this ledge wait for them to despawn all right so now that that's out the way we can run right back in and then they'll all just you know spawn right back and then you can then repeat the process like that and uh yeah dude like that's that's this yeah so that's gonna wrap up this method right here now you'll notice that both of these methods are dlc are, are dlc if you uh want to kill bosses uh, and you don't have any of the dlc just do grave ward the maps uh, a lot smaller than the the crater's edge for the ruiner and then for non uh, you know if you, for like console players that don't have any dlc that don't want to farm any bosses i will now go ahead and show you all the last uh method to farm xp quick and i'll show you guys all right you guys so we went ahead came over here to the rogue solo on the amber mire then we're actually going to come down here and uh, kill the sky billies first of all you know what I'm saying? I actually probably should put on just a CMT instead of a light speed. Probably a little bit better in this situation. As you can see, they dropped us 1500 XP. And then the next thing that you're going to do is, you know, hightail it all the way over here. Activate the new U station. Then you can come over here and then you can kill all of these enemies. Mainly you just want to kill like the, you know, the badass and the unstoppable and stuff like that. Just throw a few grenades or, you know, if you're playing on Mayhem 1 or whatever, just wipe them out real easily. 
and then you can basically just run this route as well. Uh, this will be, you know, somewhat close uh, to what you would get from like a ruiner kill, but it obviously is a little bit slower. But if you don't have the DLC for, if you don't have any of those three, uh, any of those two DLCs, and you don't want to farm, you know, Grave Ward because you're on a console like me, this is probably going to be your best method. But other than that, though, guys, that is going to just about wrap up the video. Went over the three main methods uh, to go about farming Vault Card XP, regardless of the situation you're in. If you have the DLC, if you don't have any DLC, uh, all the uh, methods are going to be used in here and yeah guys other than that though hope you all enjoyed the video thank you all so much for watching my name's Cree, and we'll see y'all in the next one peace out everybody